In Backup Exec version 21, I'm going to create a disaster recovery disk. If you take a look at this particular backup on the server, we see that there's an SDR full backup warning. And that's because I have not created my disaster recovery disk. So under Backup and Restore, I can click on Create Disaster Recovery Disk, and we get a wizard that pops up. Now, as we go through the wizard, I'm going to choose to create a new simplified disaster recovery disk and it's an ISO disk image. And we see that I get stopped, and that's because I don't have the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit installed. So it has to be at least 1809. You can actually use newer than that, but they recommend 1809 in this documentation. So I'm going to click to close that, and now I'm going to open up a web browser where I will look for the ADK and download and install that, and then we can continue with our disaster recovery. So I'm at a Google search. I'll just type in ADK Microsoft Download. Download and install the Windows ADK. So what we want is to download the ADK for Windows 10. Now, in this case, it's version 1903, and I'm on Windows Server 2019. But we still use the Windows 10 version 1903. And I'll save the file. And once it's downloaded, we should see ADK Setup in our downloads or wherever it is that you download your files. So as I double click on that, I can choose a couple different things. So we have the install Windows assessment and deployment kit to this computer and the install path. And then we also see the option for download the Windows assessment and deployment kit for installation on a separate computer. I'm going to choose this computer and click next. And I'm not going to send anonymous usage off to Microsoft. No need to do that. And you can check out the end user agreement. Click accept. So all we need from here is going to be the deployment tools. We don't need anything else that's in this list. And click install. Now we also need one other thing, and that is the PE tools as well. So after this is installed, we're going to install the PE tools, and then we'll be able to create our disaster recovery disk. I'll click Close, and now I'll download the Windows PE add-on for the ADK. This used to be part of the ADK in previous versions, but now they have it as two separate downloads. So now I'll click on the PE setup. So now I'll choose to install the Windows Assessment Deployment Kit for Pre-Installation Environment, which is what PE stands for, on this particular computer. So it looks a lot like the other installation, but this is just for the Pre-Installation Environment, or Windows PE. The Pre-Installation Environment has been installed, so now both of those are taken care of. So now I'm going to go back to the Create Disaster Recovery Wizard. So I'm going to start that up again, as per the directions. And now this time, I should be able to get past that, and I do. So I'm going to choose 64-bit because that's what I'm using. And it just shows me this one server. So I'll choose that option, as well as the bus. Here's where you can set your own label if you'd like, such as the name of the server, or anything else that you'd like to put in there, maybe the date as well, as well as the location of the ISO file. I'm going to put it on my desktop just to make it easier to find. and click Create Image. And it says that it has finished, so I'll click Next and Finish once again. And I'll minimize the program, and there is my custom ISO image. So what I would do here is I would take that image, burn it onto a DVD. So if for some reason my server became unbootable and I needed to restore from backup, I would boot off of the DVD and it would find my backup location and then allow me to do a bare metal restoration if needed. So that's how we create a disaster recovery disk in Backup Exec 21.